Good day, friends. How are you all doing? Hope you're doing great today. It's bright and sunny outside here. Hope the weather is great at your place. Um, the, for those of you who do not know me, this is Dr. Nandi. I frequently go live on YouTube video. I've also uploaded YouTube videos on solving math problems. I have also some fun videos on my uh, YouTube channel. When you get a chance, please take a look at my channel. Today, we are going to solve a math problem for GMAT exam. And here I go. I'm sharing my screen with you. If 6 to the power of 2x plus 2 is equal to 36 to the power of 2x minus 2, then what is the value of x? So that is the question. What is the value of x? Okay. So, solutions. You notice on one side we have 6 exponented to 2x plus 2 and the other side of the equation on the right hand side we have 36 exponented to 2x minus 2. Okay. So, let me write the original equation as given to us. So, it is 6 to the power of 2x plus 2 is equal to 36 to the power of 2x minus 2. Like in algebra, we have to keep the basis. That is, on the left-hand side, we are raising 6 to the power of 2x plus 2. On the right-hand side, 36 should be expressed as a power or exponent of 6 so that we have the same base 6 on both sides of the equal to sign. So again, we can write 6, 2x plus 2 exponented to 2x plus 2 is 36 is 6 square, as you all know. And that is multiplied by the already existing exponent, 2x minus 2. So we can write uh, 6, 2x plus 2, and we will distribute the 2 outside the parenthesis to the terms inside the parenthesis. That, that is, we will multiply 2 times 2x, which is 4x, and minus 2 times 2 is minus 4. Since the base is 6, on both sides is 6 on both sides we get 2x plus 2 the exponents must be equal the exponents on both sides must be equal must be equal Or we get 2x plus 2 equal to 4x minus 4. Okay, so if I move this up a little bit, I get, um, uh, I'll uh, subtract 2x on both sides. Because I have 4x on the right hand side, I'm subtracting 2x on both sides. So I get 2 is equal to 4x minus 2x is 2x. As you know, in algebra, we subtract the, uh, the coefficients. 4 minus 2 is 2x minus 4. Then we want to separate the variables, keep the constant term on one side and uh, x terms on the other side. So we have to remove this minus 4 on the right-hand side. We will do that by adding 4 on both sides. So what we do on one side of the equation should be done on the other side too. So we get 4 plus 2 is 6. On the left-hand side is equal to 2x. Now we will divide by 2 on both sides. Or we will get x is equal to 3. Hence the correct answer is, if you move up, d as in David. So correct answer, this is choice. This one is sure, correct. Answer is D. Is choice D. Which is X is equal to. Is choice D as in David. Because D as in David is X equal to 3. Okay. So what did we do? Just summarizing briefly. We made the base. 
the number which is raised to the some power same on both sides of the equation. So 36 is expressed as 6 to the power of 2. Then we distributed the 2 to the terms inside the parenthesis in the exponent on the right hand side. So it becomes 2 times 2, 4 x minus 2 times 2 is 4. Now since the basis is the same on both sides, which is 6, they are raised to the different powers on both sides. Since the base is same, the exponents must be same. Uh, that comes from algebra, okay? And I'm sorry. So uh, let me take care of that. And we... Uh, uh, equate the two sides, the two exponents, and then we simplify. We finally get x equal to 3. I wanted to erase this, so I will go here and erase this. Okay. And I will clean this up by going to the blue. What is the so, I mean, this, what is the value of x, okay? So, I stop here today. If you have any question or comment, do not, please do not hesitate to write me a note. I'll get back to each and every question that you post for me. I really appreciate that. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. That really motivates me. If you like this video, share with your friends. You and your friends, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I come back every day to solve new math problems for you, just for you. So please subscribe to my channel and please share my video with your friends. And please, if you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Take care. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.